What is going on, guys? Bryce Crispy94 here, bringing you another episode of our Icons of the Realms Mystery Openings. It is still November. It is week four. We have yet to get a null, unfortunately, but this might be the box. So, we are going to do... Ooh, it ripped a little bit. We are going to do another Monster Menagerie 3, because it has a chance to get a null in it. Uh, things we can get are the Fire Giant Dreadnought, the... What is that? Ultra Illithid... Ultra Thard, whatever. Uh, Frost Giant, um, Quadrodrome, Goblin Hooker, Hucker. I said Hooker the last time too. Uh, Nameless One, Mouth of Granulator, and Dragonborn Melt Fighter, and then a Gray Slad, which we have already gotten. Uh, so if you're wondering why I'm zoomed in like this and not, you know, down here like normal, uh, it's because I got a new camera and I really wanted to show it off because this thing is fancy. Uh, it's a Logitech stream cam, just so you guys, if you like it, you can get it as well. Um, but yeah, so let me go ahead and get off my full screen. Oh, also had to rip the Strong Jaw Ale shirt that I just got. All right, there. I'm small again. Now you guys don't have to see me that much. So let's open this up. Pull out these figures. There they are. Okay. There's a heavy boy in there. Okay, let's do this guy first. He's very small looking. Oh, what is that? It's, uh, ooh, it's like a baby beholder. I want it to focus for you guys so you can see it. Um, gazer. It's a gazer. Okay. I knew it was like a baby beholder. Yeah, it's just like a mouth and some eye. It's literally a baby beholder. It's... <laughs> So tiny! Oh, excuse me, I just like hiccuped. Why is it so tiny? Okay. Next figure is. Oh, it's a vampire spawn. So we have already seen this figure. Uh, we got it in our first. Yeah, in the, I think in the last uh, Monster Menagerie 3 opening. This one does look painted a lot better. Um, the other one. I feel like it was splotchy. I don't. I see it. Yeah, this one just is... Oh, yeah. She's much, much better done on this one. Yeah, there is... Like, there's paint missing. Yeah, so that's cool. Another vampire spawn. Um, much better done. Oh, let's put that here. I don't know what I did with the last package. Here it is. Maybe? Uh, it's not a no. What the heck is that? Is it a pig? It is. It's a wereborn. I saw the gray skin. I saw the axe. I was like, oh, it's about null size. Well, it's... it's a little littler than null size. And yes, I have. There's a. I have a a null from Icons of the Realms, and it matches up about with this flesh nuller size. By the way, here's the flesh nuller I painted. In case you guys haven't seen that video. Uh, very nice. Really fun paint. So, yeah, we got little Piggy here. Um, I'm a little disappointed it's not a knoll. Alright. And I don't think this is a knoll because it is heavy. It is. Oh! It's uh, the Fire Giant! Here, you guys can see it and be excited. I can't get it out. Alright. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, supposed to wiggle? Oh, no, look. His hand's about ready to come off. I'll have to fix that with some super glue after this video. Very big figure. Very cool. Face doesn't have a lot of detail, but I mean, it's supposed to hide behind these shields, I thought. I feel like the shields are supposed to be flat. I, I don't know, though. I will definitely be probably removing that hand and gluing it after this video. Um, I love the rust effects going through. Uh, not to toot my own horn, but I have been doing some rust effects on my figures, as you can see by this knoll with his rusty spear and shield. And I think it looks pretty good. This one's not bad. Uh, that shield, I eh, could have used it a little bit more. Uh, it looks definitely better on the armor, I think, than on the shields, especially on the helmet. Uh, very cool. I didn't realize fire giants were 
for like blue, like the skin color. Huh. The Pegnamore's gray or red. I have a fire dragon, my god. I don't remember if it's blue or not. Well, whatever. Very cool. Alright, let's go back over. So we have Big Boy. We have not the knoll, the werebore. It is cool. It's a shame the axe is soft plastic and bendy. Uh, we have the vampire spawn, which is a better version of the one we already got. Better painted. And then we we have the itty bitty boy, the tiny beholder that my camera loves not focusing on. There it goes. Oh, there we go. I just have to use my fingers as like blockades. So that is going to be it for this one, guys. If you are enjoying this and enjoying November, please let me know in the comments. Leave a thumbs up on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, if you want any more D&D related content, always go check out the Devil Advantage podcast on YouTube, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts. All the links are down below. Check out the homies while you're down there. And I will catch you guys on the next painting video, which is... I don't remember what it is. I think it's either that one or that one. I can see them. You guys can't. I'm going to quit rambling now. Catch you guys later. Peace.